Good morning, folks. Quick hits today on cosmology, climate, and catastrophism to start you on your Sunday, and we've also got two videos to watch at the highest recommendation. We're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day on the sun brings a coronal hole on the south. The largest filament on the north collapsed instead of ejecting, and we are still waiting for the southern sunspot group to make its way onto the earth-facing position. The coronal hole stream should enhance the solar wind this coming week, but it will be at a minor level. No geomagnetic storms are expected. Big quake overnight, luckily well offshore and not a direct threat to any populated areas. So we're going to head out to space where it's a major point of plasma cosmology that their view of magnetic fields from molecular clouds to galaxies to the intergalactic filaments in the cosmic web is significantly lacking. We saw just two months ago the space bombshell about the power of magnetic fields to rework nearly everything in astronomy, and it's all because they didn't fully appreciate the power of those magnetic fields when interacting with high energy density plasma. Today, we come to an excellent study aiming at the method for that initial analysis of cosmic fields, and it turns out they've been doing it wrong the entire time, and in the halls of the observers one hears no gasps of shock or surprise. Outstanding study up next that climate scientists will probably pretend doesn't exist. So this isn't the 2003 Halloween super solar storm. These are the minor storms the previous month, and they were able to affect a 15% change in the ozone levels. While protons directly destroy that molecule, the electrons work it indirectly through nitrogen excitement. This needs integrated into climate models like Fauci needs a muzzle. Lastly, on the article front, an example of how varying the cyclical disaster cycle is around the world. We have seen the different sediments show stronger effects of different cycles, just depending on where that cycle is hitting that part of the globe the hardest. And here, it's the Helena Pauli half-cycle event 18,000 years ago and the last full 12,000-year cycle event, the Younger Dryas, showing up the strongest, rather than Le Champ or other events which clearly would have been in that sample. Folks, last night's video on the ongoing magnetic disaster today, the next iteration of the Earth disaster cycle, does appear to have hit its mark. If you didn't catch it last night, it is a top recommendation, and you should catch it quickly because episode 2 of The Big Burb comes out tonight. This will be 5 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Mountain, 2 p.m. Pacific. Come chat live with us during the premiere. We greatly appreciate your support. That's two videos worth catching today, ours from last night, tonight on the Big Burb channel. Of course, website members, you also got your Fly on the Wall podcast yesterday at suspiciousobservers.org. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.